Alright guys, so after two pretty successful qualifying sessions, I would have to say, we came in P4 for our first race at Brands Hatch, and we came in P4 for our second race at Brands Hatch as well, so let's, uh, let's dive into the action, shall we? Okay, here we go. And right off the bat, I feel that I'm doing a lot better with these rolling starts. And this track made it easier because you start more on a straightaway before you go into a turn anyway. So that is pretty helpful. So we are moving up, trying to get as close as we can to the car in front of us so we can possibly make a move when we hit the line, if that's possible. Um, maybe, maybe not. We did that last time, but no, this race we weren't able to get off to a great start. So we're in P4, Car on the right. the and right. that's a tricky turn when there's other cars there, and there's other cars, like, right coming up my tailpipe. Go around this corner, my tires are still... Ooh, and he bumped me. My tires still aren't up to speed, my brakes aren't up to speed, my tires aren't up to temperature. And my brakes definitely aren't up to temperature. And always in the beginning, I'm a little leery of that. Because, you know, the car doesn't handle that well until you get that that warmth in those tires. But again, the car feels great. The, the car feels good. Um, I like the track. I, I put in a lot more practice time on the track uh, this time. Uh, before I even went back into the career mode because I truly feel that when you get into a race if if you're trying to pay attention to where you need to turn and the cars in front of you that makes it a lot more difficult so the kind of strategy I've been adopting lately is to try to get to know the track as much as possible before going into the race so I, I'm a little more comfortable with the turns so if there's if there's uh, cars in front of me, um, I can focus on them and not worry about the braking zones and stuff like that as much. So now we're doing pretty good. We're, we're uh, getting a pretty decent pace. The guy behind us is getting farther behind. We still need to do better on that turn, which, like I say, this is just because uh, of the race. I was very leery. I didn't want to spin out. I didn't want to wreck the car and get in that position where I was in last. Now, here's the thing that makes me really curious. No cars passed me. I was in P4. Now I'm in P5. I don't understand how... It, now I'm back in P4 again. I don't understand how that works in this game. I mean, the, uh, the position counter is just so odd. Like, it'll bump you down two spots, and then it'll put you back into the position you're in. And I don't understand how that works, so if anybody that knows more about this game uh, can clear that up for me in the comments, please clear that up for me, because this is literally the only racing game that I've ever seen do that. You know, it's like, how can I go from P4 to P5 when there are no cars ahead of me? You know, and this isn't like a, a time trial, so that's uh that's really curious to me. I don't I don't understand that. So as I said, I was feeling pretty comfortable around the track. The track really wasn't giving me any issues. The car was feeling really good. Um But you know again, I, I have to question the AI a little bit because in my qualifying pace you know, I came in P4, but yeah, when I get on the track, I cannot keep up with the guys in front of me for anything. And it, it may just be that it's my bad driving. Like, I realize that these corners, I'm not taking too fast. Uh, I do get better at it. Uh, like I say, the guy behind me, he's kind of irritated me because in this game, I've spun out so much. Like, literally, this, this is probably the sixth try that I've tried this race because every time when I started out someone would just bump into the back of me and I would immediately spin out which is strange because this is the first race I've had that happen to me 
Um, I've done practice races, and the last race I did, they didn't do that. The uh, the other racers were, were pretty good with that kind of thing, so I really don't know what happened this time around. Now we find ourselves in lap four, and it's been a, a pretty uneventful race. Um, I've been keeping my position. I've been keeping the racer behind me at bay. As you can see, he comes up on me, but then uh, we will lose him when we get out of these corners. So I feel like we're we're doing the corners really good, and our pit window is open. And again, guys, as you know, <sighs> the pits in this game, the pit stops, I just, I don't know. And I hit the wall there, so that's... That's unfortunate. I need to get better with that. But these pit stops in, in this game, I just don't know. Now, what I'm going to point out right now, right away, is that if you look at the uh, the menu over there, it says change tires. No. Now, I didn't notice this when I was racing. Um, and again, the, the, the stop was horrible. But uh, I didn't notice that when I was racing. And I don't know why that was set to no. Um, the, the two races I've done prior to this... They changed the tires. That was not set to no. But, uh, yeah, that kind of happened. And, well, we were disqualified for this race. But I kind of have a big issue with that disqualification. And, uh, th the thing is, well, let me, uh, let's wait till I get going first here so again like the pit stops are exceptionally long in this game like I, I don't maybe it's just me because I'm, I'm used to playing the F 2020 games uh, the F1 games but uh yeah so we're back out on the road and as of right now we have no messages we have no messages saying you know you've been disqualified or anything like that so, looking at the footage, I felt, you know what, it's probably because the pit window is still open, right? So, I could probably, at the end of this lap, go back into the pits and have time for them to, to change my tires, possibly, right? So, let's, uh, let's check that out, shall we? Okay, now the pit window is closed, and I'm still not getting any message. Still not getting a message saying I've been disqualified because I didn't change my tires. Um, if you look over into the left-hand side of the screen where the kind of like the leaderboard is, you know, there's no message over there. Nothing. Nothing told me I was disqualified. As a matter of fact, I didn't know I was disqualified until I actually ended the race and seen the last screen. So I pretty much went this whole race... Um, thinking I was doing pretty good because, you know, I'm not going to lie, P9, that would have been the best I've done so far in this game. I haven't gotten a medal yet in this game, and quite honestly, it's starting to get a little frustrating. Um, again, if I'm disqualified, fine, but at least tell me I'm disqualified. Like, there, there's nothing right now on the screen and there was never nothing on the screen to uh, show me I was disqualified. So that's like really disappointing. Alright, here we are. The race is over. As you can see, no more time on the clock. We're going to cross the finish line. And there. I mean... Right there. DSQ. Have no reason why. Never told me why. Just, uh... Yeah, that's it. Didn't qualify, so... Disqualified from the race. So that, uh... That was quite disappointing. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's go on to the second race. Alright, race number two, and again, much like the first race, we start off in 
P4 because our qualifying laps were at least consistent. If nothing else, they were consistent. We managed to get P4 both times. And again, the rolling start, we're doing even better this time, actually. We're, we're staying pretty close to the guy in front of us. And uh, I really want to get a good start off the line and possibly take another position as quick as possible. And away we go. So, I did manage to take a position. And this first turn... Mm, already in the gravel, so that's already not good, but... I managed to recover at least, which I'm proud of myself for that. I didn't spin out, so... So now we take that painfully slow, like just painfully slow, and as you can see, that's why the race leaders are just walking away from us because, you know, we just, uh, we're driving like, you know, we're driving like someone's grandmother here. No offense to grandmothers, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is, this is a race, and I, I gotta get out of my head, you know, but the, uh, the spin outs, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, spinning out in these games, it just... It kills me. It makes me not even want to want to play when I keep spinning out. Um, now, originally this game wasn't that bad with the spin outs, but uh, yeah, sometimes when when you screw up, you screw up really good. And see, I'm driving really slow. I have no idea how I'm staying so much ahead of the cars behind me. <clears throat> Again, I'm gonna just chalk that up to the AI settings because you know. Watching this back, I, I definitely wasn't going that well around those those corners. Now, with this race, I will say, if I could have drove the car as good this race as I did the first race, I think we probably would have been better. But, unfortunately, uh... I was back to making all kinds of mistakes, which was uh, was disappointing and, and frustrating from my point of view because, you know, I was doing so well around this track on the first race, and I literally played, I literally did the, the second race after the first race, so maybe I should have take a break um, in between races to, to just kind of, I don't know, simmer down from the last one, but uh, I guess it is, it is what it is. Okay, so right here, there's another huge mistake. I go across, go into the guard, take out that marker, <laughs> manage to get back on the road. So again, you know, there's something to be said from that. I, I guess if you can't learn from your mistakes, then you know you, you probably shouldn't shouldn't play the game. So I did. I am learning. I'm figuring out how to get the car at least back on the road. A lot quicker than before where I would just kind of go into a spin out mode and just couldn't recover so yeah unfortunately I was just back to making dumb mistakes in this race that's what kind of upset me so much about the first race is that I really didn't make any mistakes I didn't spin out I didn't really leave the track and I got disqualified so uh yeah I was I was probably just in a bad place when I started this race as it was but, uh, oh well. Nothing you can do about it, right? Again, we had a little bit of uneventful section. Um, I'm keeping my P3 and our pit window is open. So, you know, I mean... We gotta do it. There's no sense in doing it late. I figured do it early to try to get out early and hopefully get in the pit before any of the other cars do um that's kind of always my uh my strategy especially in this game try to get in the pit before any other car does and then hopefully you can salvage something so as you can see it they are going to change my tires this time and i actually stopped pretty good so i was actually quite proud of myself for that and i'm thinking you know what 
This pit stop is actually going pretty smooth. Again, it was a long pit stop. I, these pit stops are just ridiculously long. I don't understand why the pit stops are just so long. I mean, this one was like almost a minute long. So, everybody's passing me. Um, yeah, I don't know. The, uh, the pit stops in this game are just excruciating. I mean, in the F1 games, you, you go to the pit stop and it's like... 2.5 seconds you know you're in and out so yeah I don't know I I truly hate the pit stops in this game so now I'm coming out in last place and it, I feel like people were lapping me which I mean it could be possible considering how long we were in there but, uh, I mean, what do I do now? You know, I, I don't know. It's like I came out in 16th. It just, it takes forever. And this ain't the type of game where you can build your team up. You know, you can't put points into your pit crew to make them faster. It just, it just is what it is. So, I, uh, I really don't know what to say about it. All right, jump ahead to lap six, and the pit window was closing, and it looks like that we must have missed the uh, the pit stop. Like, when we went in, everybody in front of me must have did their pit stop already. I don't, I don't understand, but we didn't gain any places. But uh, with that being said, we do have a guy in front of us, so we're going to chase him down, and we're going to try to at least get P15. Go around that corner pretty nice and easy and actually we see p14 just ahead as well so we are catching up to the back of the pack and this is like a really good place to overtake right there because you can break a lot later than the ai on that turn well with the ai with the setting that i have it on anyway so now we get around him, so now we see P14, he's in our sights. So we just need to kind of focus on him and just basically just just get around the track good. Just do a good job getting around the track. That's all we really need to do. And we'll definitely be able to overtake him because you can already see that his pace isn't that great. Um, I can definitely overtake him. As long as I don't do anything stupid. Now, this is me we're talking about, so... <laughs> hang in there, guys. Just hang in there. So, we are closing the gap pretty quickly on this guy. And... And I let off because I'm really not good with that first turn. I, I don't know what it is. But, uh, yeah, I'm not great at it, so... We let off. We didn't try anything stupid. So, you know, kind of give me a round of applause for that. Because there's no sense in, in going back any places. So it looks like we're probably going to get a chance to overtake him in the same spot that we overtook the last car. Maybe not. I'm being a lot more cautious because I don't want to hit him. I do want to run a clean race. I don't want to hit him. I want to overtake him very cleanly. And that was a clean move right there. Perfectly clean overtake. Love it. That uh, that actually boosts my confidence up and, and makes me feel good to, uh, to do something like that. Now we're in P14. So, again, very far off from... The, the, the P3 that we started in.
Now, to be perfectly honest, I really don't know what happened here. Um, I, I just, I really don't know. I just lost control of the car, which is kind of strange, but... Oddly enough, we did recover pretty well, so I feel like I'm getting a little better in that department. I'm not spinning out uncontrollably, but uh, that was just really strange. My, my tires are all up to temperature, and honestly, the car just... The rear end just gave out. Um, I have no understanding of why it did. I don't know if it's something I did, but uh, I don't think it is because it happened several more times in this race. So, it's kind of curious to me as to what happened. I'm, I'm really not, I'm just not sure. I don't know. I didn't do anything to take any damage to the car prior to that. So, I just, I don't know. And again, right there, we just lost it. There was like, nothing I could do about it. But again, we managed to recover it again. And again around that little corner, it just goes right off the road into that car. I don't know. It's it's really strange. You can't do anything with the cars like you can in F1. So I don't know what happened. But all of a sudden, just at the end of this race, this car just did not want to handle. So now we find ourselves in P16. And of course, I'm still racing. So I'm going to at least try to get P15 back and uh, see what we can do, but I don't know. I have no idea what was, what was going on. I don't know if there's like a slick spot on the track all of a sudden or what, but... So obviously because I've been losing control, I'm very cautious in going into these turns now. We got about 30 seconds left of this race, so, you know, it's pretty much foobarred as it is, but... I am managing to, to catch up to this guy, I don't know how, and the car is still, it's just... It's just handling horribly. Well, we managed to get P15 back. And we got around him cleanly, thank God. And again, right there, I just gave it a little bit of gas and just completely lost it. And now he's saying we have damage in the front. And, uh, yeah, I had a lot of damage. Uh, my wheel was, like, sideways. I couldn't even keep the wheel straight driving this thing. So all I can basically do is limp back off into the pit and call it a race, I guess. I, I don't know. Honestly, at this point, I'm getting pretty frustrated with this game. Um, the qualifying sessions run good when I'm in the practice mode. Everything feels fine. But then when I get into the career mode, it's just a complete disaster. And I mean, the pit stops are a disaster. I just, I don't know. Honestly, the way I feel at this very moment, I'm not sure if I'm even going to continue the series... I mean, obviously, I'm going to keep playing the game. And, I don't know, like, maybe just try to get better at it and see what happens. But, at this point, um, creating content on this game is just really painful. Every time it seems like I'm, I'm gaining ground with it, you know, I, I lose so much. And it's just, it's getting... It's getting frustrating, and it's getting to the point where I'm questioning, you know, if it's even worth it.
All right, so that's that's the pit stop and that's the race. <laughs> so as usual, we finished last, and another very disappointing end to a race. Um, like I say, guys, I just I, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to continue on with this because I'm not I'm not seeing an improvement. Um. I don't know. Until they put out a patch and possibly fix the pit stop issues or the, the, the issues of random things happening, like, you know, having your tires set to be in change in the pit stop and then just randomly shutting off. Uh, I, I just, I don't know if I can continue making content for this game. It's a shame because the cars drive really well. I do enjoy it, but that's kind of where I'm at, guys. So, uh, yeah, I think that's where we're going to end this video. And I would love to say that I'll see you next time uh, in Misano, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm going to focus a little more on F1 2020 with the content anyway. And maybe I'll come back to, to ACC when I get better or when they patch some things. Uh, I don't really know. But anyway, guys, uh, I thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed... Subscribe because we have a lot of content on the channel and we have a lot of stuff that's a lot better than this and uh, <laughs> We'll see you next time guys